Over the past few years, it became abundantly clear that in-person tours of public places aren't always possible. Thousands of motivated students found themselves facing their worst nightmare, not being able to go to school. Therefore, we decided to develop the Virtual HTL. Okay, it wasn't entirely our own idea. The 3D model of the main building was created as part of a different diploma thesis back in 2016. However, the Unity demo completely lacked the interior of the second building as well as many modern features. I created a fun, exploration-focused game that features improved graphics and performance, different input methods such as keyboard and mouse or controllers, but not only that. I also targeted PC, browser and mobile platforms to ensure everyone can play it however they want. Another feature are viewable 360 degree photos of the school. A lot of them. They can be seamlessly accessed inside of the game world and are represented by these spheres. Oh, and I added some quests too that lead to important parts of the building. My colleague Albert Leninger was responsible for adding those 360 degree pictures you saw, but he also added some new 3D models using a process called photogrammetry. By taking many different pictures from several different angles and putting them into a specialized software, he was able to generate not only small objects, but also entire rooms. He wasn't the only one to create new 3D models for the school though. My other colleague, Erik Schwarzel, created some new assets in Blender to heighten the amount of detail in the game world. He also added the entirety of the second building. Lastly, my colleague Maurice Kaltenbacher was responsible for handling the Microsoft HoloLens 2 mixed reality platform and creating a demo in which the small robot that Erik Schwarzel modeled could move around on a line created by the user using their hands.